Okay everybody, this is gonna be a tutorial video on how to rip DVDs. So, um, basically turn your DVDs into computer files and stuff, so, yeah. The DVD ripper I use to rip my DVDs is this one right here. This is called Windex DVD Ripper Platinum. If you want the same DVD Ripper that I have, then a link to the download for this will be in the description below. And yeah, so basically let's go ahead and open this up if you have it. If you don't, then once again, there'll be a link in the description for the download of this. Okay, this is what it looks like. And once you have it downloaded, you're going to have to look at this thing right here. Which it shows you if you have the registered copy or unregistered copy, which I have the registered copy. Um, if you have the unregistered copy, then that means you can only rip DVDs up to 5 minutes. Which I don't think you want that, do you? Well, if you want to rip DVDs longer than 5 minutes, then you go going to need this code right here. <coughs> um, if you can't see it in the video, then I'll put it down in the description. So, pretty much, let's go and start it. First off, it's gonna show you what you need to do. I'm gonna go ahead and open up my DVD drive. And now you just need to pick a DVD to rip. <clears throat> I'm not going to rip this one right here. I'm gonna use this DVD right here for an example. My 2007 DVD of JJ the Dead playing JJ's Big Mystery. There's the DVD. And you want to make sure you play your DVD before you even think about ripping it. Because there's a possible chance your DVD may have skipping problems. If it does, then it's not going to rip very good. That's why I test all my DVDs out before I rip them. Only the ones I want to rip. So, this is the DVD. And I succeed as a few scratches on you, but I did play this DVD. Um, Wednesday and it did play good. No skipping problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the DVD in, close it up, and then now it's closed. Now you just follow these steps right here. Oh my god. Okay. Now you have to wait until um this little thing pops up. Um I'll show you what I mean once it loads up. <coughs> This little thing right here. Press OK. Ah, oh, no. Damn it. I do not want to play the DVD. No. No. Damn it. Ah. Oh, fuck. I do not want to play the DVD. Ah, oh, sorry everybody. That's what happens um, sometimes. Okay. Done that. And... Why the fuck are these ads popping up? Okay. This is what you're going to see on the screen. So, if you want to edit anything out, then you click edit, and then you go to the trim, and then put enable trim, and then, um, which I'm not going to trim anything, oh my god. And then, you also want to select something you want to rip, which I don't think does anything else for me to rip, so, and another thing. Um, you could either use the safe mode or no safe mode, but the problem is, if you use safe mode, then there's a possible chance that, um, some of it could be cut off, which I don't think any people want that. That's what happened to me before when I ripped the DVD and kept a playtime, um, by using the safe mode, so. Yeah, the end credits got cut off, so. Don't ever use the safe mode. You want to use the one without safe mode. If you want to do safe mode, then go ahead, but it's not, it's, your stuff is gonna get cut off. 
so yeah it says stuff like that so I'm going to run click it and I'll just go and start the ramp so once you have everything you want to ramp then all you basically do is click this button call run and pretty much you wait until your DVD is finished ripping so. and then after that um, you can go ahead and watch the DVD rip see how it is before you even think about doing something with it like watching it uploading it to the YouTube or daily motion I think I'm going to pretty much upload this to daily motion I'm not sure if, um, if I want to upload this stuff on YouTube because then I'll have copyright issues but I mostly do entertainment stuff and some PBS kid stuff but I'm not sure about this so pretty much yeah so again you wait until it finishes and yeah pretty much that's it so don't have anything else for this video so I guess I'll see you all later goodbye everyone